doesn't need a hook or anything. G'day, how you going? Hello. Uh, turn this torch on. Oh, there we are. Is this a lucky rule? Hey, how are you? How are you, Drew? Nice to meet you. How are you, Yeah, good, thanks. I've got a picture of him. So, yeah, white crown snake, I'm thinking by your description. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a white crown yeah, snake. No, oh, he was lying here. And what's is happening he in is, the corner up there? I think he's behind that, that, or that. Oh, All right. I mean, oh, the black thing, he went round there. He round certainly the has not come back. Is this, is this a pencil? He has yeah. not come out of here. They're, um, they are venomous, but when we find him, I'll show you. They're quite gentle and shy little, little snakes. Um, yeah, he's probably behind this stuff. Have I got my torch on? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Hello, little mate. So, yeah, white crown snake. Oh, okay. So, oh, come here, little buddy. And it's, I've got little ones that play around here. here, you see. Yeah, well, and if... I've got to be careful. You're doing the right thing. He's still a venomous snake, but if I sit him down here... Ah, oh, what am I sitting on? Oh, you're oh, all right. On my tub. Okay. So, with this guy, he'll stand up and try and... He's make he's himself long, he's longer than I thought. Try and make himself look a bit tough, but really he's um he is well he's weakly venomous, but I haven't I haven't yet been bitten by one, but it's not to say I can't. Um he can bite if you get upset enough. But for as far as a venomous snake goes, he's he is in the same family as brown snakes, but he's they're quite very Timid and shy and gentle and mm. don't, I'm glad you yeah oh god I just turned the camera back on him to do that do it again do it again do it again uh. yeah they they are in the same family as cobras the elapid family so for what it's worth they do give yeah, it a yeah. crack there it goes they do give it a crack to um make him. himself look a bit scary and yeah. he's just trying to make himself look bigger so we go away and leave he's him so alone good. we didn't know um, you it mate you're all so good with not you so as you can see he hasn't tried to bite or anything like that he's a crappy, he is yeah. he is a bit more wriggly than that they're normally a bit more settled down um if they're disturbed in the day they've usually been asleep and mm -hmm. they're a bit more sluggish because he's out and about in hunt mode no doubt look, he's, yeah. he's yeah he's a little crazy. Yeah, they're beautiful snakes. Yes. Um, yeah, look at you go, mate. Look at you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, look at that. Look at him. Standing up quite well now. Oh. Yeah. No, I haven't. Oh. Wow. Oh, thanks very much, Drew. Well, thank you very much for calling. Oh, I hope hey. you can get out those holes. Hey, what you doing? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, well, I haven't yet been bitten by one, but this one looks like he might want him. I got bitten by my first and keel back today too, so you just oh. never know. Um, yeah, he'll get relocated. Take him out the back of town somewhere where hopefully development doesn't catch up to the poor little guy. Because obviously this is not the type of snake that can really get out of the way of a bulldozer very well. Um, you can really see him good. I should have done this from the start. Just put him in the tub and he's a bit easier to sort of see now. But I, um, when I started doing this, I was just thinking it was going to be a hobby. I never expected it to turn into a full-time job. But We've got two cats and there are a lot of snakes around. We've got a granddaughter. Yeah. I love the that rainbow. It's hard to yeah, pick up on the camera. Color, it's very hard to pick. Where are you going, mate? Where do you think you're going? Mate? Hello. You can actually see Hello. Yes, you can. Yeah, they're they're a snake that you can really. I mean, as I said, this one's like full of energy and, and that. Normally, like normally they sit down a lot more, and you can really just get a good blue. look. But he's moving, you are definitely got energy tonight. I was just saying to Katie though that it's quite a warm night tonight. Yes. It's just very so warm tonight. He's got the energy to be out and about. And these guys hunt on lizards. So he'll go oh. in and look, he'll rummage through your garden and find lizards that are tucked away asleep for the night. Oh, yeah, we that have no little, little unsuspecting, like not knowing that there'll be a snake. lizards out there, even sick ones with the ones the cats had them, yeah, you know. Them four or five inches. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a good shot of the side of his head. Hello. Hello. Could you send us that? Yeah. That would be brilliant. Yeah, and I'll also put some photos up on Facebook so 
if, right. I'm not sure if you're yeah. on Facebook, but if yes, you follow we'll. Facebook, I'll go yes. and take some snapshots of this, probably this particular moment right here. I'm going to send this to the little little face. England, since it's the first one of 23 years. Hi. There's a good shot of him yeah. resting the side of his face because you can actually see it better on the camera than you can with the naked eyes. So, yes. Well, at least I can because my eyes aren't very, is this very good. Is this um, it, yeah, well, it does. Some some angles it can reflect differently, but that's why I just move around as need be. But I'm getting some really good shots. Oh, I tend to good. take about half an hour's worth of white crown footage just because they're amazing well, the little snakes well, the to see. Rabies. They're very, very common, but because they're very small and secretive and, and oh, strictly yeah. nocturnal, yeah. they're hardly ever seen in the day unless maybe you're doing up your yeah. garden or something yeah. and you accidentally disturb yeah. one. Or if you happen to be out at night like you guys are at the moment and just stumble across one. Otherwise, they are common, but just very, very hard little snakes to find. <laughs> I was sitting watching the telly, Kath was just coming in. Kath has been out. Staying out, staying out, just laughing. Look at his tongue, Kath. Yeah, here he goes. Hello. I'm glad you guys are into it and not just going, take him away, take him away, because oh, no. we're getting a bit more of a good look at, at his behaviour. And... I'm fascinated. Look at these, he's a lovely little thing. They are lovely little snakes. They're very, very... Um, that's why it's hard to say on the phone, because I've got to be professional. So when you're saying, is it venomous? And so I'm like, well... Yeah. Well, yes, it's venomous, but um, that's why I know once, you if you're willing to let me demonstrate and yes. show you the, yes. the snake yes. that yes. you'll see that even though it's venomous, it's still a, it's quite, a, a quite a gentle natured snake. Like it's, it's personality and that is a very humble natured little animal and it doesn't, doesn't mean any harm. Um, uh, professionally five years now, wow. but I've been fascinated with snakes since I, yeah. I can't remember not being fascinated with just all wildlife yeah. in general mm. since I was a little kid. It you, started... You live in Harvey Bay? Sorry? You live in Harvey Bay? Yeah, we do now, but I grew up down near Sydney. Oh, but it didn't take you long to get here. But, um... Oh, he's shiny, isn't he? I think yeah. he was wet. He's, he's got like a blue... You think he was wet? It's, yes. it, what it is, is like his colour technically is just completely grey, but he's just got a fluid mm -hmm. underneath the skin that when it uh, mm -hmm. reflects mm -hmm. off the light, the light, it just reflects yeah. different spectrums of, of the colours. Um, talk, talk that's story. where the idea, if you've heard of the legend of the rainbow serpent. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's the idea of it. So uh, a lot of our pythons in particular yes, shine very, yes. very beautifully. Not so many venomous snakes do, it's but the... The crown snake does. Him. The crown snake shines. He's going to be what, fourteen, fifteen inches. Yeah, and he is. He is still a small one, um, but definitely not a baby or a young one. A few years old. Definitely. Yeah, because the size of it, I just assumed it was just a small one. You know yeah, what I'll I mean? Put him. I'll let him go. He's calmed down at least. So yeah, I do like to let him calm down before they have to go on the whole ordeal, so they don't totally feel abducted. Oh, well, that's Hey, dude. God, you're a gorgeous snake. Look at him hiding him under himself. Hey, mate, I know, I know. It's all scary and stuff. What's happening? What's happening now? He's just out looking for some lizards. And the new bozo's come and move me along. Hey, hey, you'll find plenty of lizards in here. Where's your head? Where's he going? Can't see him. Just totally disappearing straight under the leaves. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. See you, mate. <clears throat> God, man. Like some Blair Witch shit for real, eh? God damn it. So, that snake just scraped it in before the end of the day. Anyway, alright, off to the next one now.